Hello friends, this video on solutions part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new term called azeotropes. Azeotrope, first let me tell you how this word came. It came from a Greek word A. A means no. For example, uh, A symptoms. I mean, and zeo means boil. And tropes is change. That means no change in boiling. That means azeotropes are the binary mixture. I'll say they are the binary mixture or solutions that have same composition, same composition in liquid and vapor phase. So what does it mean? It means y1 is equal to x1 and y2 is equal to x2. That's all. It is x1 is equal to y1, x2 is equal to y2. If you know what is x1 and x2, y1, y2, if you don't know, Please watch the previous videos where we explain how to find these values and what are they. Okay. So the composition is same for, for example the molar fraction of component A in liquid phase and the vapor phase will be same. The molar fraction of component 2 in the liquid phase and vapor phase will be same. Right? They have same composition in liquid and vapor phase and boil at constant temperature. Can we boil at constant deviation? They show large deviation from broad law. Why? See, as I told, as per Rolt law, these are different actually, right? X1 and Y1 are different. Because for that, finding Y1, I have to find the P1 and P2, and then Y1 is nothing but P1 by N plus P2. But if you are saying that x1 is equal to y1, that means they are showing large deviation from law. And since this concentration is same, the concentration in the vapor phase and the liquid phase is same, it is not possible to separate using fractional distillation. So fractional distillation will not be of any help. Right? Because the, the way fractional distillation work is, uh, the concentration should be different in the vapor phase than in the liquid phase. And then you, you Cash the concentration, take the concentration, and then liquefy it. Then you'll get a, a purified uh, version of the solution. But in this case, if the concentration is same in both cases, right, the liquid phase and the vapor phase, then the fractional distillation won't work. There are two types of azeotropes: minimum boiling azeotropes and the maximum boiling. We'll understand this: minimum boiling and the maximum boiling. Both show large deviation. So my minimum boiling show a large positive deviation and the maximum boiling shows a large negative deviation from Rolle's law. We will we'll explain what is this minimum boiling and the maximum boiling next slide. Just understand azeotropes and the names of this no boiling change. That means even if you boil, there is no change in the concentration. The vapor phase and the liquid phase will have similar concentration, right? They boil at a constant temperature. There is a they show large difference from large deviation from Rolle's law because the Rolle law, as per Rolle law, there has to be some difference. I mean, because Rolle law is helpful in the fractional distillation, correct? But this in this case, the concentration of a particular component in liquid phase and the vapor phase is all same. So it, it you won't be able to purify this kind of solution using fractional distillation. And they show two types of azeotropes: minimum boiling and maximum boiling azeotropes. Let's understand the minimum boiling azeotrope. As I told, the minimum boiling azeotrope, it shows large positive deviation from broad stock. Right? An example is ethanol in water. So, ethanol water mixture, if you obtain from the sugar uh, uh, fermentation right and on fractional distillation you'll get some uh, solution which is approx 
95% by volume if not okay, this is what you get and once you get this this is my as you drop because once this composition is achieved the liquid and vapor will have same composition you can't actually separate them using fractional distillation right this is my ethanol this is water 95 percent by volume that is example of positive deviation is it or maximum sorry minimum boiling is it the next is maximum boiling is it i told this also shows a large deviation but in this case it shows a large negative deviation from rod's law right they call maximum boiling is it and the example is nitric acid and water solution nitric acid is 68 percent and water is 32 percent by See another example is my HCl and water, right? HCl is 20.2% and this is almost 79.8%. Uh, now the question is why it is called minimum boiling or maximum boiling as it all. So if you see the boiling point of HCl is what? Minus 84 degrees Celsius and boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. But if you talk about the mixture of these two, the boiling point is 110 degrees Celsius. That is more than any of these boiling point and thus they are called maximum boiling point as I told boil as you troughs will have fixed boiling point right similarly in, in in this case the minimum boiling point of as you trough if you see what I'm saying is as you trough will have fixed boiling point in case of 95 percent ethanol ethanol has the boiling point of 78.4 degrees Celsius water we know has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, talking about the boiling point, but it talk about this mixture which I am talking about here. Mixture it has the boiling point of 70.2 degrees Celsius, that is lower than these two values, correct? And thus they are called minimum boiling point. As it drops. Please note, as you drops will have fixed boiling point in case of minimum boiling point, as you drops the boiling point of the whole mixture will be lower than the two components. In case of maximum boiling point, as it drops the boiling point of the mixture will be higher than the boiling point of respective two components. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.